Hey, good morning, Kid Space. As you might see, I'm here in the dark, and I'm gonna ask you guys a question. What is something that you are afraid of? When I was little, I remember that I was afraid of the dark sometimes, and I would have a, a little nightlight in my room, and that made me feel better, that there was a little nightlight there. Um, even today, I would say, I'm not a big fan of snakes, um, I'm not, you know, I would hold one if they were nice, but uh, I'm not going to go way out of my way to buy a pet snake. Um, so, but what about you guys? What's something you're afraid of? Um, maybe you're afraid of trying a new food or um, afraid of, um, you know, like I said, snakes or the dark or being alone. You know, everyone has something. Maybe right now in your family, um, it has to do with going out and talking about the coronavirus and, and that kind of stuff. I mean, it's kind of a weird time we're in right now. And, and sometimes you might hear your family talk about things that they're worried about. Well, it's actually kind of good because in our story this morning, um, in the so-and-so show, you'll hear this, they're talking about a man named Stephen who um, wasn't afraid even when there was a very scary situation. So I want to encourage you guys as a family to watch the so-and-so show. And the story of Stephen is in the Bible um, in Acts 6. Um, Acts chapter 6. And I would encourage your family, maybe this morning, grab the Bible, open up to Acts 6, and, and talk about this man named Stephen who faced something very scary, but he wasn't afraid. And the reason why Stephen wasn't afraid is because, well, you'll see that around me it's kind of dark right now. And one thing happens in the dark is you don't always see very well what's around you. You know, you don't know where the walls are and what's around you. And, and that can be, you know, just unsettling, like you're not sure what you think about that. But then what happens when you turn a light on, suddenly the room is bright and you realize there's nothing to be afraid of because everything that you weren't sure about is suddenly made clear. That little thing in the corner was just your teddy bear who loves you and you like to snuggle with. Well, here's the thing when it comes to God and life and fear, okay? Sometimes when things are dark and we don't understand and we're concerned and we don't know what's around us, it can be scary. But here's the thing when it comes to God. When it comes to God, there's no such thing as darkness because God always sees everything. He is with you. He sees you. He loves you. He is taking care of you. He is watching over your family. To him, nothing is ever dark. He is not afraid of anything and he sees every single thing in life. And the Bible says that God is with you all the time. When you go to bed at night, God is with you. God is with you. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, no matter what is going on in life, God is with you. He sees you and he loves you. I want you guys to know that and I want to remember I want you to remember that. Next time when you go to bed and it's dark, remember God is there and to God it's not dark. To God he sees everything. To God, it's light. To God, He knows everything. He knows everything that's going on. And we don't have to be afraid of anything. So I want to encourage you guys, watch the So and So Show. So and So Show. Read the Bible story in Acts 6 together and talk about it as a family. About things you are afraid of now and maybe things you were afraid of when you were younger. Have a good week.